So the first thing I want you to do on the next problem, Lauren, is the, main, the easiest thing, guys, you can do, shh, as I mentioned, guys, there's two different ways you guys can break this apart. Okay? The main important thing I want you guys to understand is that, first of all, the fourth root of z to the fourth is equal to z. The fourth root of y to the, y to the fourth is just equal to y. That's the same thing as the fourth root of z times z times z times z is just equal to z. So there's two different ways you can do this. Yes, Abby? Huh? Sure. So there's two different ways I want you to write it. You can either break up this problem as writing, trying to find as many things to the fourth power or rewrite the problem as as many times as the number multiplied by itself. So the first example, the first way I showed you guys how to do this was to break it down. Well, how can I rewrite, put it away please. How can I rewrite z to the eighth? You can rewrite z to the eighth as z times z times z times z times z. And then I'd have to rewrite it times y to the ninth. y times y times y times y times y. So yeah, this is the longer way. That's why I said, I mean, this is a longer way to do it. But it's definitely possible. Now, the, the only thing that's nice about this, which a lot of students like, is it's very visual. You are rewriting z to the eighth as z multiplied by itself eight times. You're writing y to the ninth multiplied by itself nine times. Gavin, do you have this written down? No, you don't have this written down. Okay. These are z's, those are y's. So now, what we're going to do is we know that the fourth root of z to the fourth is z multiplied by itself four times. So I'm just going to circle having the z four times. Then I do the same thing with y's. Okay, now what did we say the fourth root of z times z times z is? Z. And then, since I can't find three other y's to include with this y, this y has to stay under the radical. So therefore, it's fourth root of y. So my final answer is z squared, y squared times the fourth root of y. I did it right. Okay? Now, the other, way, the other way that I prefer to have this written down is, again, rather than writing all the z's and all the y's, we can come to the exact same conclusion. Guys, if you just broke this up into, how can I rewrite this as z to the fourth? Well, you could write it in, you could write it as, z to the fourth times z to the fourth times y to the fourth times y to the fourth times y. So the trick is when you're, taking, when you're trying to take the radical, because we're not just using square roots, what you want is the power of your variable needs to be the same as the index. And if you, the more times you can do that, then you can take, because as you guys notice, the fourth root of z to the fourth, we already talked about that. That's inverse operations, right? So the fourth root of z to the fourth is just z. Those are, cancel each other out. So therefore, that goes to z. Boom, that goes to z. That goes to y. That goes to y. And that's left over. And you guys get the same answer. So you can multiply them all out if you want to, 